Hello, this is Deb Rogge, and I am a staff developer with ESU 8 in Meeting, and I welcome you to this webinar entitled Writing Tools and Resources to Assist Teaching. There's a twofold purpose for today's webinar. And the first is to support you teachers as you teach your students how to write. Um, support you as you do classroom practice, as you uh, provide formative assessments for your students, and also as you uh, prepare your students for the MESA writing assessment. The second purpose of this webinar is to uh, provide you, the teacher, with writing tools and resources to use with your students. Um, there'll be uh, also included a group of student writings for you to use as exemplars and non-exemplars, as well as the tools and the resources. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to sharing these resources with you. Many of you are familiar with this web page, and I just want to briefly go through this web page to refresh your memory and to point out a few things to you. First of all, you'll notice the red oval that is a URL in order to get to the NIMC uh, wikispaces.com page. Now, if you recall, the NNMC are, is a collaboration between ESUs 1, 2, 7, 8, and 17 in the area of writing. Uh, next, I want to draw your attention to the left menu. The left menu is the original menu that we used with this wiki page. Uh, these are all active links out to other pages which have other resources and other links for you to be able to use uh, with your uh, students and in your own uh, knowledge and skills preparation uh, for writing. And then in the center of our page, we place our announcements uh, the announcement we have right now is that we have scheduled the fall 2015 scoring uh, data retreats, uh, and those dates will be uh, grade 4 on Monday, October 19th, grade 8 on uh, Thursday, November 5th, and grade 11 on Tuesday, October 25th. Now, all of these events, all three of these, are being held at the Lifelong Learning Center on Northeast Community College's campus in Norfolk. And those particular sessions will all begin with a, a registration at 8 a.m. and will conclude by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So we invite you to be looking towards the future and encourage you to uh, be a part of this very special uh, opportunity. Next, I'd like to draw your attention to towards the bottom of our page. At the, towards the bottom of our page, we have other resources that are available to you, as well as the resources that are along the left side. Um, these are our newest resources that are available to you. As you can see, both NNMC Fall Writing Resources for 2013 and 2014 are available here. And then uh, we have a brand new resource, that, which I really want to highlight with you um, during this webinar, which is called the NNNC Writing Resources. Now, these offer you, teachers and students, tools and uh, resources that you can use with your students in strengthening their writing, offering them challenges and support. Uh, there are stu student writings that are available for you to use with your students, which have helps, and some may not have some helps, but you, this helps if students can see examples, if students can work with other pieces of writing that are not necessarily theirs, it tends, to, it tends and has a, a strong reference to uh, strengthen their own writing skills. Now, you can all access, right from the NNNC writing page, this uh, the Weebly right here with this URL that where the red arrow is pointing. Now, once you clicked on that, this is what the uh, homepage for the NNNC writing resources looked like. Uh, let me give you a brief tour of this particular page too. 
Again, we have the URL up in, in the upper left-hand corner. And then uh, we have a table of contents uh, that's available on the upper right-hand side. Now, notice that the home page, grade four page, and grade eight, grade eight pages are readily available. And under the more are the grade 11 and other resources that are available as well. Uh, also, uh, the pictures that we have down here at the bottom of the page are active. Uh, and you may click on any of those to go directly to um, grade four, which would be narrative, grade eight, which would be descriptive, and grade 11, which would be uh, persuasive tools. Um, okay. Here we have the NMMC uh, Weebly homepage. And the homepage has available to us as I stated, the table of contents across the top. If you go to the table of contents, you have two pull-down pages which you can directly um, access. Uh, we have narrative writing tools and narrative samples. Here we have descriptive writing tools and samples. And when we go out here to the 11th grade, uh, we have persuasive writing tools and persuasive samples that are available to us. Don't forget that you can notice how um, my pointer, I can directly access any of these pages right from these particular pictures that are uh, on the home page. Um, I am going to go right up here to the narrative writing tools and let's take a little tour of this page. Um, first of all, I offer to you the characteristics of narrative writing. Um, this characteristic page actually comes from the Department of Education. Uh, you, easy. Did you notice how quickly I, I clicked right on that download and it downloaded it right to my, right to my computer? So it gives me the characteristics. And this would be something that I would really share with students. It's important uh, that they know and can actually uh, identify within a piece of writing these particular characteristics. I want to draw your attention here that this does come, come from the Department of Ed and we've been using this particular piece since 2008. Um, then the next section we have here are the rubrics. Uh, we have the state analytic rubric right here that we use. Here are the PLDs. Uh, I'm going to click and show you these. Even though uh, the document is turned in the wrong direction, uh, we have the overall students' uh, qualities of writing at below the standards, meets the standards, and exceeds the standards. Here again, this is a document that I would really strongly encourage you to share with your students. If you can use a piece of either their writing or of another student's writing or of a sample piece of writing and you can identify these performance level descriptors. It greatly enhances your opportunity and their opportunity for them to respond in a stronger rather than weaker manner. Then I also have uh, on the page offered you checklists. A simple graphic organizer that's available for you. Uh, the checklist is a, a simple tool to use right here and uh, it's a Word document. We'll open it up and look at it. it this checklist just offers you and your students uh, a basic checklist as to what a piece of narrative writing is. But they can either, it's either there or it isn't there. And that way they can identify it. So we can find that. So these are, this is a simpler checklist right here for narrative writing. The first page is a form more detailed. Then uh, last but not least on this page, I offer you uh, opportunities of sample essays, uh, prompts. Uh, many times student teachers tell us that they don't know what prompts to offer to their students. I'm going to click on this one download it and show you that here are some sample prompts that you can use. 
just a simple uh, cut and paste uh, with your students will offer you or you can put it up on your whiteboard whatever you want in order to give students a stimulus to write for now what I want to remind you about prompts is that prompts are only meant to stimulate the writer they don't need to actually respond uh, verbatim to the prompt but the prompt has to have provide some type of a stimulus for that writing it gives them a direction it gives them uh, gives them a uh, a starting point that's what a prompt is meant for okay so that's a quick tour of the fourth grade page and the same is true of a descriptive in eighth grade you see here we have the characteristics uh, we have the rubrics and we have the sample graphic organizers and prompts are available there's one thing that I forgot to share with you and I'm going to go back and do that in just a minute because here on the rubric section uh, Mrs. Bobby Roachford from Clarkson Public School student-friendly form of a descriptive rubric for which she uses with her students grades 5 through 8. On the fourth grade page you'll also find a fourth grade narrative that's available there as well. Um, I really encourage you to share these rubrics with your students or if you've written a rubric uh, in student-friendly language and find this very useful for you, please share that with me also. Uh, uh, my address, rather, will be available at the end of this presentation as well. So here we have, for descriptive writing, as I shared with you, all of these tools that are available as well. Then when we go out to grade 11, here we have, again, characteristics, rubrics, checklists, simple graphic organizers, and prompts that are available. These are great tools. If you'll notice in this in the checklist and the graphic organizers, here's a pre-writing planner that you can use with your students as they practice. It's not to be used with the with the NISA W, but it's but practice. Here here are some other strategies and fallacies. Here's a, a graphic organizer that you can use with them. Here is a checklist for persuasive writing and yet another organizer. So I really encourage you to use these. Um, we also have uh, other helps right here under prompts. I have words that enhance uh, writing. Here when we talk about and consider all of these uh, senses that we have right here colors, so on and so forth, words that enhance your writing, and I encourage you to share that with your students as well. Um, the one thing that I did not share with you when we were back looking at, even in the uh, grade four uh, writing tools, were the narrative samples that are available. Now these narrative samples are um, all written so that the student sample is on one page and then if there are uh, assistances for you the teacher they're written on the second page so so that you don't have to necessarily provide those to your students while you're using that particular piece of writing as a teaching tool um, I'm going to download the uh, uh, student piece called Redwoods and here we have as I open up my window here we have as I shared with you uh, the one pager of the student piece of student writing but I'm going to click down here and you notice that on the second page um, here we have at what grade level and what mode uh, this particular piece was written and uh, how it was scored how it might be scored and lessons that were learned from this particular paper and any comments that you might want to um, share with your students or offer to this student as a piece of writing. Um, this happens in many or most of the pieces that are available here on this. Uh, here, for instance, let's download uh, the baseball. 
the baseball works just like this. Let's open it up. Here we have uh, the piece of writing just as the student wrote it. Now don't go through and correct all the misspelled words because that is part of your conventions and revisions lesson that you might use the baseball for. But when we look at the second page, here we have um, the suggested scoring. Um, here's the lessons that they learned and any comments that there that might be made about this piece or how you uh, uh, might enhance this particular piece. Also at the very bottom, there are suggested scores for the other traits other than organization, which is scored up at the top. I also want to draw your attention down here to the footer where we have uh, uh, these are okay to use in your classroom because we have the proper documentation down here uh, for every one of these pieces that have the, the helps and so on for you. So we really encourage you to use those. Uh, those are available under the descriptive. There are the persuasive sample, samples. They're all are here and available for you to use also. And I, I just really, really encourage you to use these. They're absolutely fantastic. Now, there's one more site on this Weebly I want to take you to, and that's uh, the more where we find ESU writing links. Now, the blue uh, ESUs are active links where you can go out and actually uh, survey their um, writing uh, helps and assists that they have created for their teachers. And we strongly encourage you to go out and look at other ESUs and what they've been doing. Uh, as time goes on, we'll add those additional links from those other ESUs into there so that you have uh, a great number and, uh, of resources available to you. They're excellent. All of them are excellent. So then we'll go back to the home page. So again, here is our home page. And uh, we just really encourage you to use this particular NNNC writing resources. So give me a second and we will go back. We'll stop sharing this and go back to our original presentation. So I thank you for joining me for this webinar. Uh, again, I'm Deb Rogge, and that's me in the picture there. And as I promised you, here are the, the NNNC Wikispace uh, links and the NNNC uh, writing resource links. You have both of those URLs, and I really strongly encourage you to use those URLs. They're uh, invaluable, and there's no need for you to go out and um, reinvent any of these resources. They're right here for you. Thank you again for joining me, and I look forward to working with you again in the near future.